People say, be nice. I'm not nice. Nice means ignorant. You know when women drive. This is truth. I'm just spitting truth. You know when women drive. You can pick it out as you're, you know, as you're driving around. You see somebody do something. It could be an immigrant. There's always a possibility. We just started driving. Like, I don't think you should let women drive. And not necessarily that they can't be safe drivers. My daughters are safe drivers. But my wife is not a safe driver. And it's all because of emotional, erratic, um, behavior. Get out of my way, homie. Going straight. Nah! Nah! I'm going to tell these women, no! <laughs> it's, like, well, it's demonstrating in my video. I think I'm going to put this on Logos and I'm going to get Valencia back on here. Because uh, uh, he's my homie in Cali. I think he's in Cali. Yeah, but Valencia. But I don't think women should drive just because it's unloving. It's not protecting your, your wife or your daughter, right? Like, you should not have them drive unless it's like their specialty. Like, unless they are like a focused, like, like they have the temperament to be a driver. You let a 16-year-old girl drive, though, who's just like a rich kid, is a spoiled brat who feels entitled. You don't have to be rich because you live in the America so you can be entitled on welfare. You can be entitled on welfare, right? So women shouldn't drive. But regardless of that, they are driving. They, they are driving. All right? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Right. This is this ideal society where you don't have like retards in charge. Literally satanic influence everywhere you go. Which destroys logic, which destroys logos. Logic, right? It's illogical. Illogical. And uh Ill logic, right? Um, it's very funny. as I had just pulled out of the pulled out of the Home Depot parking lot right and there's a situation where I have a stop sign the incoming traffic into Home Depot has the right of way so they can just drive in because they got a light and then they can just drive through and they don't want to stop for somebody waiting to see if someone's gonna you know it's not a three-way stop or whatever two-way
Well, I can I can go back way. I got in the wrong lane. Anyway, but I don't want to be on the traffic anyway. So anyway, uh, anyway, I was having this conversation in my mind, thinking like if. Because I just talk, right? I just say what's on my mind. I just speak it out. Because it's funny. And I'm making a joke. And I'm commenting on the obvious, right? And I say... And this lady... Well, the truck... Stops and waits for me, right? And they have the right of way. And I'm at the stop sign. I'm just like, you have the right of way, person. You have the right of way, person. But then... I understand this is what I'm dealing with. So I... I understand where... You know, driving. And so I'm able to, like react quickly and I don't get irritated but I just take notice and I was like I was like you're a woman and as I drove by I'm like yes yes indeed of course you're a woman of course you're a woman right and not to say all women are bad drivers because that's not true um the vast majority of bad drivers are women which is true but, thank God that not all women are bad drivers because we're all dealing with it. The good driving women are dealing with it too. And they'll, they'll, they'll point it out. They won't necessarily point out it's a, it's a woman, but when they see it's a woman, they'll be mad at, mad at her. The only way a woman can be mad at another woman, which is like vicious. I've never seen anything like a woman versus woman anger, dude. Oh, dude, they just want to like, they just want to tear their heart apart with their bare hands, dude. They're, they're vicious. That and when they see a man happy. Ooh, I'm going to cut through. I got to cut through right here. Look at this. Smiley, Smiley Jehoshaphat. Um finding my way around this Doraville. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I just thought it was funny. And this was the conversation I was having, right? The conversation was... That's a woman. And then I could imagine my daughter being like, you misogynist. I have one daughter who might say that. Or she just, she rolled her, she, 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 she just would say something. I don't take it seriously, though. Because it's my kid, really. But. And I know I don't ha obviously hate... <laughs> you know, like... All of anybody. Right? Including women. I believe that. I mean, everyone's just a child. Right? Anyway... It is matter-of-factly true. And you can treat it as such. Or you can toe the line. Which I was always thinking when I was a kid had two meanings. Towing. Like pulling a trailer, right? Towing the line. You're all towing it together, so everybody has to like pull together. Otherwise, like it doesn't, you can't, it doesn't work. Or putting your toe up to the line, as in the army, which is really what it means, and not standing out. So you toe the line because you don't want to stand out, right? Because why you have the fear of man? Um. But then you don't get to make the joke. Like, you don't get to laugh. And even if you're just laughing, if it's just you and Jesus laughing, well, you laughing, Jesus is, is always there, right? Just you and the angels. 
like, you, you just, and it's just, it's a little funny. It's not like a big joke. It's just, you just joke about stuff in the moment, right? But it's an observation of reality. And that's why it's funny. And that's why it's offensive to people towing the line. Because they're like, don't make me look bad by my association with you. Tells me that's what children are like. Ah, oh, my dad is a misogynist, masogynist, ecologist. Um, man, I got all these black helicopters always following me. Anyway, anyway, it was just it was just a conversation I had in my head, and I really need to like talk to people about this stuff, or, or I'd like to share my thoughts for the benefit of others. I mean, ultimately, that's what I, I did with the bears, right? Like, I I was a influencer of Owen Benjamin. I had great influence over the man. In fact, there are very pointed things that I said to him or said out loud that he took notice of and latched onto and gained understanding and applied it even and got and and it works because the shit I've learned in my 45 years is is well, it's very very useful it's like learning how to to build a car or how to fix everything on a car because your car breaks down and you can't afford to fix it that's why being poor growing up poor is way better than rich kids, even if they do get good schooling, because they're destroyed in their mind, they don't even know how, what to do. They could be a genius and even apply themselves in school, and they're still worse off than a poor kid who just had to do stuff, who had to overcome, who had to forgive the people who traumatize them, you know, and get, you get do all that stuff earlier. And this is the thing, those other people love to do it too in a different way though, but it's like couched in this soft handedness. It's couched in this like, I, I'm too depressed to get up and do chores. They don't have chores. Not giving your children chores is one of the most evil things you can do. Are you kidding me? He who spareth the rod condemneth his child, right? Or something like that. He who spareth, spareth the bucket. The bucket of shit or the bucket of food. He who spareth the bucket. There's not much you can be in life. Don't get it wrong. They're like, oh, what's your major? You can choose a million things to do! <laughs> no. You can't. You can't choose a million things to do. There's like a few things you can do. You can be a shepherd in the wilderness. You can be a You can be a merchant in the city of Vanity Fair. You can be a builder, carpenter. You can be a farmer, but really you're just letting things grow. So don't take any confidence in letting things that letting things grow. There's a reason they say you got a green thumb. It's like you're blessed to steward the growing of things. But don't be all proud and lifted up like Cain was. 
It'll lead to jealousy and you will take your brother's life. You will sacrifice everything that's dear to you against all logos, against all logic. I gotta fix my brakes. Against all logos, don't come, Mr. Ready, Mr. Ready Pants. Don't come, Mr. Ready Pants. I gotta take the other way into this neighborhood. This way makes me always drive by police officer's house and a neighbor who I need to like fix their stuff. And I'm avoiding it because I'm just lazy. Um, anyway. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I call that Brett, very legit guy. Shadow, that, that guy. Anyway, um, I'll just uh, file this away, and I'll probably try to load it up and maybe send it to some peeps. But it's just a funny state of mind. I had to run to Home Depot and this was my drive back. So how long did it take me? 16 minutes 55 seconds. Since that altercation on the highway. It was actually a pretty efficient way to get home right there. Uh, I will have to Maybe I'll run up and just show you what I'm working with right now. Let's do it. <laughs>